This carrot farm is part of a 16-acre plot that Oscar Martinez planted out last November. But an overabundance of the root vegetable on the market means that he is likely to lose 3,000 sacks of carrots. That converts to $55,000 if he does not find a market for his carrots within the next couple weeks. Last time I sell uh, the, the carrots, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the guy buy only four sack, and this time he don't get any more because uh, there is too, too many local and from Mexico. That's what he told you? Yeah. Have you tried other people to sell to? Uh, yes, but they don't want, don't want nothing because there is too many from Mexico. Okay. Everything is contraband. We visited the San Ignacio Tong market and did not see any of the bigger, smoother contraband carrots available. A vendor told us that they don't purchase contraband carrots at that market. About 30 miles away in San Antonio village, Ananias Mesh has seven acres of carrots that remain unharvested. Aside from the contraband issue, the glut of carrots has pushed the price below profitable margins for him. Well, the problem is the price right now is low. Uh, oh. we, we sell them um, 35 by 50 pounds. $35 for 50 pounds? Yes. And now the price is? Still, still 35 the price. What should the price be? At least um, 50, uh, 50 a 50 pound. We used to go two times a week in Belize City to sell it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then? And then right now we are not um, going right there because it's too cheap, the, the carrots right there. Last time we sell um, like 200 bags a week. Mm -hmm. But right now we just sell 60 bags a week. Okay. Uh -huh. And that's because they're buying from other people too? Yes, the contraband is affecting us. We we sell right now slow. Do you think the contraband is selling for cheaper than you guys? No, expensive. Why do you think that is? Why? Is it because of the quality? Is there a difference in the quality? Yes, a little bit quality. Mm -hmm. More quality the contraband. If Mesh doesn't sell the carrots by the end of the crop, he stands to lose $20,000. Another contributing factor for the oversupply is climate change. Suitable planting conditions did not occur until late in the year, and that meant that farmers in Cayo, who were to provide the first supply of carrots, were unable to plant earlier than the other farmers in the north. Now, when these farmers should be reaping the last of their crops, there are still more carrots in the ground than they can sell. That is before the farmers in the north begin to supply the market. In the past two months, Oscar Martinez had only been able to sell roughly 200 sacks of carrots. He wants the relevant authorities to crack down on those who are contrabanding carrots in Belize. That is a step that Andrew Mejia says will be taken in the days ahead. The people is in charge to stop the contraband. They are supposed to do a better job, you know. If they don't do a good job, the contraband never stop. If they don't stop the contraband, I never plant carrots again. When we do activate and, and we're, we're after this exercise, that's the first thing we're going to do. Activate the vegetable interdiction unit to ensure that all entities come together. And we try to see what, what's the source of the, of the problem. But Mahia says that the carrot farmers also bear some responsibility for the problems they are facing now with oversupply. They don't plant in phases and they plant more than they agree to plant. The farmers did one thing that's, that wasn't plant. Uh, the, the, the production acreages, they planted more. So, um, mm. And compounded to that is the issue of them planting together. The Ministry of Agriculture can only do so much. Mm. We meet with the farmers on a regular basis, we plan uh, who will plant first? The schedule will ensure that the farmers understand and most of them don't abide by it. They will tell us, okay, we'll, I'll plant two acres this year. I normally plant two, I'll stick to two. Mm -hmm. The extension officers visit the farm, it's three, it's four, it's five acres. So, and everybody together? And that's the thing. Once the climatic conditions remain the same as last year, 
they will plan together. And then we'll be right back again here next year. So we're hoping that we have better coordination, better communication with the farmers this year. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.